got my first shoe. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Litzy if you're new here and welcome to today's video. Don't really know what to, today, where I'm going. I know I want to go out because today is a beautiful day and I'm tired of just sitting inside. So yeah, I might take a book and read, um, but we will see. This is my fit check, Morning Brisk Brown, Thrift, Blue Jeans. Thrift booty, I got it all on my own. Dirty new balance. My heart is beating because I literally just got so scared. Do I get scared when people come into my room? Also because I feel like I still need to hide stuff that I have just for protection purposes. But, um, wow, I'm literally shaking. Anyways, that is my outfit. This is my hair. I'm gonna put it down once I'm on the bike, but it's just in a little thing. Threw on this. This was my dad's jacket, and I just cuffed this. Threw on some rings. I'm gonna put out my piercing, and we're ready to go. Now let's go. I have to pee, but now let's go. Boys. So here we go again. Still need to buy a tripod. It feels so good to get out. I said this in the last video, but I love winter. Um, I don't know if I might have cut it out or not, but I love winter. I love the cold. It makes me feel so good. So I am a, like a winter baby, so I feel like that is also just in tune with like my season. If that makes sense, like. I just naturally am attracted to the cold. Don't know where I'm gonna go. I might just go around. We'll see. Around town. I feel like we've just been so conditioned to be like on the go constantly that because I already am doing what I love and living in that, it's like I want more things to do. But also, I know that's because I'm barely starting my life, if that makes sense. So I feel like it's not even like, it's not a good or a bad thing. It's just kind of mid. The sun feels so good. As I'm riding my bike right now, I'm like, I keep looking at myself in the camera and I'm just like, I'm exactly who I want to be. I'm literally exactly the person that my self, like a few years back, was like, I want to be them. I want to live my life the way that I'm living my life right now. Like, I want to go out whenever I want to go out and you know, do what I want to do. And... Wow. I feel like for so long I was like kind of dreading becoming the person that I wanted to be for the same reason that I was so used to the person who I was. And another thing that I've realized is that I'm like reliving the exact cycle that I experienced twice already one time being the first time I ever experienced it and giving it another chance the second time being that giving it a second chance and then being like hold on I don't deserve to be treated like this knowing that I'm letting go of all this and accepting that and a lot of people talk about like oh you have to let go of like your past self or your old self but they never talk about how hard it can be. I'm not gonna say it's hard because 
I feel like if you really want something to leave out of your life, you can make it happen like that. Just as quick as you can manifest, like, anything, like, you know? But not a lot of people talk about how hard it can be when your ego or your old self is still, like, trying to hold on to a past version of yourself. But you, within yourself, your conscious self, your higher self, is like let's go like let's fucking go this is how we're gonna do it i already got a plan so yeah also like life is just so good and so at ease which is another thing that goes into this into like being getting comfortable with the uncomfortable the uncomfortable being the abundance of peace and serenity oh my god there is some Oh my god, this tree, this house, whoa. Okay. There's some grapefruits, but I don't know if they're ready. I got some grapefruits from the tree. are the grapefruits that I got. I have another one. The same person that I saw biking, it was like this guy who looks like a teenager. But he's here as well. So I thought it was so funny how we were both biking, we saw each other, and now we're both at the same place. Oh my gosh. All the clothes are just passing by right now. Another thing that I was talking about within myself today, earlier, was how I don't always have to be the savior for my family or for people around me. I feel like oftentimes it always felt like that because that's how I was raised, like, to constantly be the ones that are supporting my family, like, constantly being, like, I just thought about the song, uh, so what is she's much of a fixer upper? That's a minor thing from Frozen. <laughs> but the thing is, it's not, it's not my job to fix people or things. Or help people try to find a way out. Because last night I had a dream that I was dating someone. And um, I remember went out to go eat with like me and my friend like my me our friends and then my girlfriend and We went out it was all fine and dandy And I remember towards the end of my dream um, I had asked my girlfriend if she can pay for the food and um, Like as I was about to ask her that our friends had like gotten up already and like they didn't pay so i was like wait what did you guys pay already and then like not in a rude way that sounded rude but um i was just like oh did you guys pay already like question like asking them if they did already and then they and then they were like oh no uh so and so paid for the food already and in that moment i remember wanting to cry so bad even in my dream like i was crying in my dream because Like, I was going to ask them if they can do it, but they had already done it. Like, I didn't even need to ask them. And one, I've never had that happen to me in a dream and or in real life. And it was just so, it was so like, whoa. 
like it felt good to be taken care of in that way if that makes sense and not necessarily like financially because it's not me showing up for people constantly anymore it's like other like I can be taken care of I can you know other people can come into my life and stuff like that it's not it's not like I'm the one that has to be there for everyone 24 7 Oh, another thing is, um, every time people tend to me, I always think that it's, like, equates to being needy. Like, even in my dream, um, I felt like I was being needy if I asked them if they can pay for it, if that makes sense. And, like, girl, being cared, being cared for and being nurtured is not being needy like at all what does needy even mean like what that could have been just a word made up by freaking misogynistic people men that just like didn't attend to their queens literally but anyways yeah i always think about the song because i could be needy and i think that's also just like a self-reflection part where it's like um where it's like I don't want to bother people and I feel a lot of people actually experience this where they're like yeah I want to I want to do this or I need I need to ask for this from my partner or my person or or my friends or family but I don't want them I don't want them to think I'm being needy and that always falls back to the perception that people have of us like and their perception of us being more important than what we think of ourselves and what we need for ourselves which is a whole different thing but I just feel like yeah I feel like another thing if you follow my Instagram then you know that I've been talking about a lot about love because it's something that's present for me in my reality and there's so many like wounds that come up from it and that I didn't even know because yes I do have self-love yes I love myself and yes like I'm, I'm tapped into my divine feminine um but self-love I actually saw a video th- about this as well as self-love and self-care like self-nurturing within yourself does not equate to the love that you experience with a community or with a significant other or multiple people or it doesn't equate to that same like love that you experience as a whole with community we naturally are com- people of community like you know especially if you like come from like ancestral backgrounds like every time like I'm dancing in my room or something like that like that is community because I'm not dancing with just myself I'm da- I'm literally dancing with my ancestors with my elders with like all those divine people who came before me and yeah they may not be here physically but energetically like you can feel the vibrations when you're tapped in but yeah it's not a constant feeling of their presence like they can be here but you don't always feel their presence if that makes sense or we're not always like awakened to their presence especially if you live like by the society norm um but yeah I don't know I think this is just like a whole reflection of like what being loved feels like when you're not used to being loved um but yeah I'm excited because I'm working on it and I'm whoever does come into my life um I'm so excited for that because I I feel like I'm very at a place where it's like yeah I know where I stand within myself I know what I where I stand within how like my relationship what I want to you know like not how I want it to play out because I have no expectations of it but I I, like my standards of what a relationship should be like um and I'm excited because I know it's not easy and I know not everyone is at the same level of like consciousness as each other so that's also a whole separate thing but I'm excited for the reason that I get to grow and I know that whoever I'm attracting in like we're going to be able to work on communication and 
it's gonna be like an open environment not only relationship wise but like platonically as well like with friendships like i'm so excited because like that's what i'm attracting that's what i'm calling in is people where we can have open clear communication where we can just be ourselves where we can literally just exist with no judgment of each other and even then if there is judgment being open about it it's like there's no shame for how you feel or act or look or want to express yourself it just is and it's a community of love because i feel like friendships and relationships should have the same values the only difference is that you probably get intimate with relationships but even then it should all have like the same foundation of respect trust and love so yeah But it's also having compassion for that past self of, I know it's scary to let go of everything you've ever known, but also it's completely valid to be like excited for everything new that's coming. Although you do have to let go of that self that you've always known you do get to experience a whole new version of yourself as well a whole new experience of life it's no longer like oh i'm a kid i have to follow what everyone else says and does now it's like i'm an adult and i get to do whatever i want with my life like yeah i'm so excited for that because literally my life is barely starting this is like chapter one this is like the intro to chapter one the author's description